Oh, there the big don't argue. Get off me, he says. Clear the tarmac. It's takeoff time. Media Vintage Sports Network presents Play by Play podcast with Jordan Hughes. Alrighty, welcome in. And after a long season in 2024, we are here. It's grand final week in rugby league. The Storm and the Panthers battling it out in the grand final. Jordan Hughes is my name for NRL picks and preview. And alongside me, as always, dun, 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 King! Hey, boss. Jody. How are you, man? You good? How are you, my guy? I'm well, man. I'm well. Very sad, this. What? Well, yeah. I won't be seeing you much after no, this. I know it. That's a lie. No, we're, I'll see you. Yeah, we're gonna be it's summer together. We're training, go to the beach, you know. Summer shreds. Yeah, yeah. I've seen you getting some heavy lifts up. Good yeah, job. We're working hard, man. Very strong man. Just Very to, strong. Just trying to be like you, brother. Very strong tongan. Yes. Yeah. For my family back home. Hey. <laughs> um. <laughs> mate. Firstly, it's grand final week. This is the day. This is very exciting. And you're going, obviously. Yeah, I'm going. How are you uh, feeling? So Excited? sorry, but yes, I'm going. Like, I'm, I'm, over, I'm over it now. I'm, I'm so it. stoked, eh? I'm like, it's such a good game. Yeah. About nine or ten weeks ago, I was like, yep, it's going to be a Storm Penrith final. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it is that day. It is. That's what's happening. Are you going to watch the women's as well? That'd be, I think it's before. Pro- I would like to, but the gap's like a four-hour gap. Oh, is it? It's like the women are on at three and the men are on at like 6.30. 6.30. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I don't really want to have that middle time. True, we'll see. Uh, all right, let's talk about last week quickly, <coughs> finals of week three. Uh, it was just dominant from both sides. Storm 48-18 of the Roosters and Panthers 26-6, both 13-plus wins. Is there a concern of how much, how much there is a gap between these top sides and the bottom? I think it was just come back to Melbourne Storm and Penrith Panthers looking at Tier 1 team the whole season. Yep. They were just levels above. Uh, and there was just, with Roosters, there was a few injuries and Sharks were pretty, they were pretty consistent. They just weren't that Tier 1 side. Tier 1. Tier 1. You love that, don't you? Well, it's just, it is what, it's, it's what I've been using. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's good. Yeah, As you were, yeah I agree. Um, yeah, and on, on the picks from we were pretty sharp last week too. Yeah, if you followed our punts, we got up. We have uh, eight from eight from these uh, finals. finals. So there's one game left. Can I make it nine from nine? Well, we're about to find out. We're going to find out. Uh, let's waste no time. Let's get into it. NRL Grand Final time. Melbourne Storm taking on the Penrith Panthers, looking to go four on the trot. A dollar ninety the Storm, a dollar ninety five are the Panthers. The line is a point and a half. The big news is obviously without Nelson from that sin bin last week. Yeah, right call. Like he couldn't. There's no way he's going to get off. When I watched it, I was like, that ain't even that bad. And they've given mm. him about five weeks. It five. shouldn't be that. I think it should have been taken down. It shouldn't even be... But there's no chance he's going to be playing this week, though. I don't think. For that. Shoulder to the head. Old mate played the ball the wrong way. How how was those calls? I said, who's going to be the first yeah, one sent off? It was either him or Hargraves. And sure enough, first play of the game. Like, yeah. And it was pretty funny how Collins got up and played the ball the wrong way. Yeah, of course, he was out of it. He <laughs> didn't, didn't know what day <laughs> it was. Cool. Yeah, exactly right. That was crazy. Um, but yeah, without um, Big Nelson. But I think the Storm... I, I just think the Storm will still have the same sort of forward pack rolling through. Mm. Just one rookie extra on the bench. Yeah, uh, Kamak- Kamakamita comes in at eight. Yeah, he starts. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a big fan because he's a bit of a big dumbo for me. Okay. But other than that, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a unit. Yeah, I know, I know a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so these two sides, of course, this is the second time in five years they met in the grand final. Um, they've met twice this year and the Storm won both. 24-22 and 8-0. Beauty. Uh, and, and in that final... The the Penrith have been in the grand final. This is their fifth time. Uh, so they've been in four grand finals in a row. Mm-hmm. They've won the last three. The one before that, they lost to Storm 26-20. Yes. I'm the stat man. Well, that's good. So the only loss they've had in that GF is to Storm, and here they are again. And, and only, only two games, Nathan Cleary's lost this year has been against Storm. Wow, that's good. So that's that, good stats. So that's been their bogey team. Um, what I will say about the grand final last year, Penrith were in the grand final last year against the Broncos. Broncos had it won. It was like 24 to 8 or something. I don't done. know. Yep. And Cleary, the Iceman, come back. And there was a key player in that match as well that wasn't Cleary. It was Stephen Crichton. Yes. Um, he done a few good things and then they got up. So not, can they back not, it up? Not there this year. Though. He's not there this year. The critter. Yeah. Um, okay, so before Crazy. we get down to your sort of breakdowns, a couple of stats to consider. Uh, so Melbourne's last six finals games have gone over the total points, as we said, just been points galore. Uh, the Panthers have won the last 11 finals games. The Panthers have covered the spread the last six of seven at a core stadium. The Panthers scored the first try in the last six finals games. Um, oh, yeah, we'll sort of touch on that. I'll go to the try scores a bit later. Um, so they've got 11 finals wins in a row. In a row yeah. That's a stat you just can't go past. They're just, yeah, clutch. A big one as well, both teams making the grand final is Craig Bellamy and... Cleary's dad, Cleary. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, like, it's, it's, they're both built for this. Both yeah. clubs are built for these games. The last 10 years, I don't know how many finals they'd be in, but it'd be a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So we're looking at a very tight contest here. Yeah, so the key matchups, obviously there's strike power across the board. Uh, Ryan Pat versus Edwards, obviously there's halves. Um, Harry Grant, he's going to be very influ influential, I think, in number nine. Um, where do you think it's going to be one? What are your key indicators for this one? Oh, oh the key indicators. Oh, we're skipping my notes here. Oh, no, no, we'll see. Um, no, go through. Go no, through. that's good. So, the, so for me, the key indicators yeah. are... So let me talk about Storm. So the way yeah. Storm play... They've been playing such good clinical footy that everyone's been playing their position correctly, you know. Mm -hmm. Those centers are uh, doing their job. Those wingers are try-scoring freaks. Yeah. You know, you've got Warbrick and Coates on each side just scoring. The middles are doing their job. And the key indicators for me for Storm are their playmakers. It's Harry Grant directing the game. Yeah. It's Jerome Hughes and Munster directing the um, with direction. Mm -hmm. And it's Pappenhausen's X Factor. The spine is so good. So they're the key players. And yeah. it just so happens they're all in form. And the new, newest Dalian medal winner too, Jerome Hughes. Exactly. So imagine the confidence of Jerome Hughes. You know, last yeah. week he got a hat, uh, hat trick. Yeah, a few weeks ago, yeah. Pappy scored two tries. Munster scored two. And he was just awarded the Dalian uh, of Player of the Year. Yeah. But there's a few other things you want to look at as well, is that um, there's a couple of players. Let me have a look at my notes. Um, that made the Team of the Year. Yeah. So you've got Eli Katoa, second rower of the year. Mm -hmm. um, Harry Grant, who's hooker of the year. And then on the other side, you've got Yo, who's uh, 13 of the year. And you've got Toto, winger of the year. And you've got James Fisher-Harris as front row of the year. So the confidence that you get from getting those awards, you know, you're, you're the best in the NRL right now. Yeah, 100%. So you're taking that into the grand final. They're full of confidence. Um, Katoa has scored in his last two appearances against the Panthers as well, uh, if you like something there. Uh, on the try scoring front, Toto has scored in his last seven of eight finals games. Munster and Coates have scored one try in the last six Finals appearances. Ryan Papp has scored a try in his last four at a core stadium. Um, and Nathan Cleary has scored in his last two uh, two games at a core stadium as well. And of course, we scored that match winning try in last year's grand final. Ah, Cleary the Iceman. He's very good. That very hard fantastic. to bet against him. Fantastic stats. Um, if, if we're looking at the Penrith, mm -hmm. their key indicator is Nathan Cleary. Nathan Cleary is the Iceman. Everything comes off him. Uh, he's the biggest threat. Uh, and also, there's two, uh, three other players I like to look out for is Dylan Edwards. His engine yeah. is huge. He's pushing up everywhere. He's taking about two runs a set as well. Uh, so their kick return with him and Toto is just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're, one of their other key men, his young, unsung hero, mm -hmm. is Isaiah Yo. He's yeah. always the connecting man, and he's like almost a third ball player. Well, he's been one of the best players in the comp for the last few years. It's just unreal. Yeah, I think he um, really goes unnoticed sometimes. I agree. Um, so with that all being said, we've got it all, you know, breaking it down for you, the stats, the key indicators, the key players, who wins it and why, Riggs? Woo! So uh, I think the lineup for Storm, mm. they've just been... Oh, actually, no, do you know what? I'm going to flip back to this page. Mm. I'm with you. I'm here. I'm still here. Uh, I just think that the way Storm have been playing now, the way they've been playing each week consistently, they're just a next level above. Uh, they're all healthy. They're all strong. Their key indicators are all playing their best footy. On the other side with the Penrith, there's a bit of woe with Cleary's shoulder. Yeah. Cleary's shoulder. What something to look at is it's Luai's last game yeah. ever with Penrith. Mm -hmm. um, and that's like Batman and Robin. Yeah. They've been together True. for the whole, their whole career. Yeah. So they got something big to play for. But with me and the way that we're looking, uh, I just think that Storm have been on the up. Yeah. So I think it's going to be a real tight game. I'm looking at Storm to get the win here. It's very hard to say that. Um, but yeah, what are you looking at? I agree. I agree. I'm going to go. I've, I've been on the Storm early on, um, and I reckon they are. It's very, as you said, it's very hard to, to pick against Penrith, but I just reckon Storm, they've been class form. They've got that spine. They've got all the confidence in the world, and I reckon if any team can beat the Panthers, yep. it is the Storm. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's like they're so hungry. You can see how hungry they are. Storm's yep. hungry. Jerome Hughes is hungry. Yeah. The spine are playing, and just with Penrith, they've done it so many times. So it's so hard to just go against Keep them. Keep climbing the mountain as well. Yeah. Uh, but, I can, you know, it should be 1-12 either way. Mm -hmm. um, so I do like, obviously, Storm to win, Storm minus at 1.5. Uh, Ryan Papp to score, uh, Coach to score, and probably Totwell to get a try as well. Beauty. I like that, actually. Yeah. So my best try score, is, I've got a best bet try score. So I've, I've, I'd be loading on, this is my load. Mm -hmm. I've got Melbourne Storm, that's my primary bet. Riggs is load. Riggs is low. <laughs> <laughs> Melbourne Storm. I'm looking at a 1-12 to 12 either way. Yeah. Probably Melbourne Storm. Uh, my best bet try scorer is Brian, probably Brian To'o. Mm -hmm. So he was probably my number one try scorer. Yep. After that, it's probably Pappenhausen. 
And then there's a few that I'd like to sprinkle on as well. A few roughies. Uh, yeah, a few roughies. Is Warbrick, yep. Liam Martin, Jerome Hughes. I think he's got a big asterisk next yeah, to his name. Yeah, he always finds a way to score. Jerome Hughes, player of the year, three yeah. last week. Yeah, chat. Probably two of the week before. So I'll join you on that. I'll join you. Like let's that. jump on Hughes. Yeah. Let's let's jump on Hughes. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's jump on our player of the year. <laughs> and even Harry Grant. Yeah, okay. Lovely. So, those are try scoring options for me. What do you th- what do you what are you sitting on sort of the um the over oh, the under. over-unders. Yeah, like do you, are you expecting a lot of points or do it can be low scoring? What's the line? I think it's forty six and a half unless it's Oh, moving. I'll go under. You're gonna, be, I, you're gonna be tight. This game is like it's a grand final, so it could be low scoring, you know how it's yeah. a, a good contest. Yeah. But also both teams they can score points. Are spectacular <laughs> scoring points. Um how are their defense? You know, it's a grand final. I'll go under. All right. Uh so you've got Storm to win, Storm one to twelve, Total to score, Wallbrick to score? Papin. And Pap. If, yeah, I would if I had to pick one try scorer, mm. it'd be Toto. Yeah, okay. If I had to pick two, Toto and Pappenhausen. I like it. Um, the Clive Churchill medalist, of course, the favourites are you know Hughes and Cleary. But for me, a bit of value is that man Ryan Papp. So Ooh, he's yeah. paying thirteen bucks to win the Clive Churchill. Oh, that's solid. And I reckon a Storm win, he'll play a big part in it. And I, I don't mind him for that. He's the X factor. Absolutely. Who do you like for the player of the match? I'm going Jerome Hughes. I'm backing him all the way. Yeah. I'm going to ride him. Love the Hughesy. Ride him like. Yeah. Right. So I got Hughesy, yeah, Pappy or Harry Grant. They'll be my top three. Lovely. So there we go. We're both on the storm, mate, to finish the year. I like it. Nice. Um, I did it. In. I, I, I'm the same as you. I did a tab had a thing on their multi where you could have you predicted the final series. Oh. Um, and I've, I've like from the start of from week one to now. Oh, I wish I could do that. Yeah. Tell me. Oh, I know. You seen it. But yeah, no, I'll pick the storm to win that. So oh, hopefully they can get it done. So there we go. We both love the Melbourne Storm to win on Grand Final Day. But there is another Grand Final as well coming your way in the NRLW Grand Final. The women taking. Their game to centre stage. Roosters $1.33. The Sharks $3.35. The line is 9.5. The Sharks 14 0 the Broncos last week. The Roosters 25 16 over the Knights, the defending premiers in that semi final. An unexpected one from the Sharks beating Broncos 14 yeah. 0. We didn't see that. Yeah, no way. Um, a big shout out to Georgia Hannaway. Mm. You know, she's a, we've watched her play sevens yeah. growing up. She's only a rookie, so she's an incoming beast. Like, give her some more time there, a couple more years, she'll be running the whole. The whole competition, mate. You see these all these union girls that have gone to the league and just killing it. Out. Yeah, killing it. I think she threw this like cutout ball last week to get a try in the corner. Um, so they're fourteen nil. Sydney are clinical at the moment, yeah. um, and we've got a good matchup. It's at their home too. It is. Um, so these two last two side last two times these two have met. The Roosters won forty nil mm-hmm. and thirty six twelve. So they've dominated this matchup in recent times. The line I does suggest nine and a half. But as we just seen with the, the Sharks last week, the Broncos they can they can turn they can up play footy. and dish it. So. Um, yeah, well, I think they dug deep last week. Yeah, Sharks had to dig deep, and you're wondering if they can dig deep again. Do it again. Um, but yeah, that was pretty phenomenal that they were able to beat the Broncos to nil. So the winger for the Roosters, James Fre- Jamie Freshard, she scored uh, three tries in the last two meetings versus the Sharks. So Ooh. I do like, for me personally, I like the Roosters to win this. Yeah, um, I think they'll be too good. I like Jamie Freshard for a try, and I like uh, Aiken to get it scored. Oh, nice. I've got Aitken in my notes as a gun. Yeah, Aitken's a gun. gun. Uh, I think Bremner is a try scorer. She scored two last week. That's their fullback. Mm-hmm. I think Roosters will give him the thumping. Yeah. Um, I think the Sharks, you know, got their way there. Their only threat for them, for me, is pretty much Ellie Johnson in the front forwards there mm-hmm. and then Quincy Dodd uh, from Hooker. Yeah. You know, she's a little um, nippy one there. She is. And obviously got uh, Penatani and Tonegato in the backs that are their shining lights. Um, something to note, though, so the Sharks have, are coming into the final series with better form. They won five in a row, whereas the, the, the Roosters, they sort of limped their way into finals. They won last week. But before that, they lost their last three. Holy, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So, like... Shush. So they've actually they've only just really found some form, but so the, and the Sharkies have got the momentum and the spark, so that and that counts for a lot, I think. Do you recall who won last year? Knights, and they beat Roosters. No, Titans, remember? Oh, they beat the Titans. Yeah. Did they? Oh, yeah, close yeah. one. Yeah, oh, devastating. devastating. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. Um, yeah, like the Roosters to win. Um, that line, that nine and a half number is a lot of points, but I will go Roosters to cover that. I reckon they should yeah. do a job here. I have in my notes Roosters minus seven point five of Bremner to score. I like it. There we go. Solid. So we've got the Roosters and we've got the Storm to win in the Greens, my friend. How good's that? Sheesh. They're locked up. It's good. We're in, me and you. Um, so yeah, NRL Grand Final time. You will be there, my friend. Um, I'm going to be there. Any closing thoughts on what to expect about all of it? Nah, I reckon this is going to be pretty much a game of the century. Yeah. I was there for the Origin Game 3 that was just on. Mm. That was amazing. Yeah. But this one, I think it's going to be the same sort it's, of caliber. It's going to be epic. Yeah. So we're on Melbourne. Yeah. 
That's really fucking exciting. Load up. Well, how, where are your seats? You got good seats? Solid seats too. Yeah. Okay. Are you on um, behind the post or? No, no, side side on. Oh, true. I yeah. think now tickets were like looking at seven hundred. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got down to four hundred because there was two spare next to them or something true. like that. Oh, so. worth it, Matt. It's going to be good. Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll send you some snaps. Yeah, yeah, send some content for the page. Mm. Appreciate it. And anything in your personal life? <laughs> My personal life has been very chill. Thank you. Mm, nice. Good. Um, but it's ready to finish off the year strongly, mate. Yep. Finish off. We've had a good year on the picks front. Let's keep it going this weekend. Yeah, last one. Nine from nine. Let's make it happen. Let's get, let's get some juice. All right. Thank you very much for... Firstly, this will probably be our last show for the 2024 season. Might have some test match stuff, international season international later in the, year, in the year. But uh, thank you, everyone who watches this show every week. It means a lot to for both of us. Um, it's, 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 it's amazing. People actually always text me and, and Regs and about the picks that they've won for money and, and whatnot. So we certainly appreciate it and all the support that comes our way. So uh, This is very sad. No, it's not sad. It's exciting. You're, you're making me sad. Well, I don't Thanks, know. everyone. <laughs> So much. Like and subscribe. We won't see you anymore. I'll we'll be back. Oh, fuck. But thank you, my friend. Couldn't do it without thank you. Thank you, my guy. My it's man. Great to see you. Yep. Third year running. Yep. 17 more to go. Yep. Till we're old farts. <laughs> I love it. Nice. Uh, all right. Close it out, my friend. This is us. This is Media Vintage. This is Johnny. And this is King. We out. Enjoy your grand final weekend. <laughs>